we recognize that uh, it is our responsibility to speak with those who we serve. This is the members of the public, the judicial staff, and also our judges and uh, you know, judicial officers. Uh, because we don't serve ourselves, and we also recognize the fact that uh, for us to be effective, unless we engage actively with the stakeholders, we'll not be able to know what are the issues. We'll also not be able to know what the feedback that we get from the members of the public. And uh, when we engage them and get the feedback, and also are able to know what are the issues, we are able then to make appropriate uh, decisions that will ensure that the judiciary serves efficiently and that there's access to justice for all within the country. That is the primary reason why we are here, to engage with the Kirogoya people. What we've realized is that um, we have something that we call the court users committees. The court users committees have various representatives from all the sectors. We have people from the public health, we have the police, we have the prisons, we have the Kenya Forest Service, we have the lawyers, we have the business community, and they engage together with the judiciary because we also have the judge of the station and also the chief magistrate of the station is sitting in the same committee. Now, the beauty of it is that they're able to collaborate on day-to-day -day basis and see what are the issues that keep arising, and that helps a great deal. So, the members of the public are saying that they want that to continue and they want that collaboration to be enhanced, including allocating adequate resources so that they're able to resolve most of the issues. They want that to continue. The other thing that they're also saying is that um, they would want the judiciary to continue exerting its independence because the beauty of the exerting the independence, it helps the society to feel secure. Judiciary is the last line of defense and the, the members of the public would not want a judiciary that is seen uh, not to be independent. Uh, consequently, we've given that assurance and for us as JSC, we'll uh, continue emphasizing on the need for independence from all fronts in the institution of the judiciary. And that will also, of course, not compromise on. And to, so that we can ensure that the members of the public uh, have an institution that can hold to account the other arms of government. In, for us, it's just a question of emphasis because either this lack of understanding uh, on the part of SRC, we assume it's a lack of understanding. We're just reminding them that uh, when it comes to matters relating to the staff of the judiciary, it's the responsibility of JSC. When it comes to there are certain aspects that relate to our judges that are also and judges and judicial officers that are exclusively the mandate of JSC. So it's just a question of emphasizing that everybody needs to keep to their, to their, to their territory. Same thing also even with the control of budget. When it comes to withdraw of certain uh, expenditure that relates to the judiciary, is they sh there shouldn't be impediment or roadblocks. But when it comes to also the issue of independence, we are speaking also to all other state organs that judiciary needs to be given room and also facilitation to continue serving the public in all the matters that relate to its mandate. Because an independent judiciary is useful and is good for everybody. We have to always realize that uh, when we are we're in a situation where we need resolution of issues, we all run to the same institution. So when you are talking about independence, it's from all fronts. When it comes to the funding, when it comes to the processes, and also when it comes to the decision of independence, we need to all support this institution. Because what usually happens is that uh, the moment you open a small window, then it means that you end up now encroaching on the entire institution and you flatten it. That will not allow, because it's our responsibility. Actually, the Constitution, Article 172, is very clear. It is the responsibility of the Judicial Service Commission to protect the independence of the institution of judiciary, but at the same time hold them to account. It's our responsibility. We accept that independence also comes with the accountability. So judiciary, Judicial Service Commission will play its right for all on firstly ensuring this independence, but also ensuring this accountability. Because ultimately, we are accountable to the people of Kenya and the two go together. Judiciary, when it comes now to the standards, there's a reason why Judicial Service Commission was established. It is our responsibility. That's not the responsibility of SRC. SRC deals with other public officers, other institutions. But when it comes to judiciary, judiciary is exclusive mandate of JSC when it comes to the issues. That's what we are saying. We, we are not creating the law, we are just restating the law as it is under the Constitution.